Starting with Biohazard Eye Survivor in 2001, several mobile games based on the Resident Evil survival horror franchise have been released. The games feature different genres and settings, and were developed by the Japanese and Canadian branches of Capcom. Resident Evil – The Missions Resident Evil – The Missions, known as Biohazard – The Missions in Japan, is an survival horror game developed by Capcom. It is designed to be a series of short challenges which can be completed in a matter of minutes, and does not attempt to provide a new storyline. There is also an enhanced 3D version of the title. In the missions, players primarily control Jill Valentine, although other characters can be unlocked through continued play. The game recycles pre-rendered backgrounds from several of the PlayStation era for its backdrops. The game features 150 different missions. Although some of the missions have the same objective no two missions are exactly alike. Objectives vary from killing enemies in a certain manner, killing enemies with a limited arsenal, getting to a location within the given time or fighting enemies in the dark. There are also several unlockables, such as several new costumes, gallery images, weapons, or extra equipment such as light weight boots that increase movement speed, a laser sight that improves aiming, a customizing pack that gives each weapon a unique ability or a side pack that gives the ability to carry two extra normal items. The player controls Jill Valentine. When aiming specifically for an enemy's head or legs a small targeting reticule appears in front of the target and expands and contracts rhythmically. When the aim is as small as possible the chance of hitting the targeted area is greater. At the end of each mission a score is determined by time, kills, damage or a combination of the three along with item usage. Resident Evil – Confidential Report Resident Evil – Confidential Report is a turn-based strategy game series by Capcom originally released in 2004. The series contains four titles file 1 to 4. Confidential Report is markedly different from its predecessors. It uses turn-based movement and grid system-based combat. Like Resident Evil 2, each game features two scenarios with two different characters. Topic. Plot Rookie cop Tyler Hamilton has been assigned to guard the umbrella storage facility in Raccoon City when an explosion from underground rocks the foundations. Tyler is knocked down, and trapped inside the storage facility, however as he wakes up he notices hordes of the undead coming towards him. Meanwhile, FBI agent, Naomi McLean has been sent into the city to investigate the experiments of this facility, and locate what the previous agent could not, concrete evidence direct from secret FBI informants working within Umbrella's ranks. After surviving the horrors of the infested storage facility, Tyler has been holding up in a local police station. Suddenly, the distress alarm rings from Raccoon University. Governed by his sense of duty, Tyler bravely sets off to the university believing there to be survivors. Unknown to Tyler, Naomi also picks up the distress call, and realizes that there is a strong possibility that the alarm was raised by one of the informants she is looking for. She sets off to the university to find more clues to Umbrella and rescue this vital person. Resident Evil – Genesis Resident Evil – Genesis is a puzzle-adventure game developed by Capcom Interactive Canada released on March 5, 2008. In Genesis, players are taken back to the origins of the Resident Evil franchise, taking the role of Jill Valentine as she investigates the disappearance of the Stars Bravo team and uncovers the secrets hidden in the mansion of Oswell E. Spencer. Genesis was developed from the ground up as a mobile phone title and designed to work more effectively with the limited control scheme and screen size. The result is a game that is more of a puzzle-adventure game than the survival horror titles found in console versions. The game scored 7.8 of 10 points on IGN and an A on 1UP.com. Resident Evil – Mercenaries vs. Resident Evil – Mercenaries vs. is a multiplayer iOS game. It has three characters to choose from, Chris Redfield, Albert Wesker, and Jill Valentine. 
All characters are present in the attire worn in Resident Evil 5. There are initially three maps to choose from which are entitled, Dock, Fort, and Castle. All these have been taken from Resident Evil 4 and feature many of the Plaga's infected Ganado and the Chainsaw Ganado. Like many of the new generation Mercenaries games, players are encouraged to score as many points as possible by killing BOWs. Combo hits can increase the timer for a player in that stage thereby allowing him to score even more points. Mercenaries vs. Supports 2 vs. 2 online team match which is free to play for all via Wi-Fi, 1 vs. 1 team is free for all via Bluetooth and single player training and coin shooter mode. As this is a versus title, players can take out other human-controlled AI. Mercenaries vs. will only run on more up-to-date versions of Apple's iOS. It will work on iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad, iPod Touch 4th, iPod Touch 3rd 16GB and 32GB, or better. It is not compatible with the iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 1st, 2nd, 3rd 8GB. Resident Evil – Degeneration Resident Evil – Degeneration is the first Resident Evil game to be released based on supplementary material and the first game on Nokia N-Gage 2.0 system and iPhone platform. Resident Evil – Degeneration is based on the CGI film of the same name, and incorporates many aspects seen from the film. With the same 3D engine used in Resident Evil 4 Mobile Edition, the Nokia version of Degeneration plays very much like an extension of the same formula, set in Harvardville Airport. The game boasts the best looking graphics for any Resident Evil cell phone game with a fully 3D environment for Leon S. Kennedy to explore. The iPhone version of the game is divided into ten small chapters, with Leon completing simple objectives whilst battling the undead. As opposed to the CGI film, much more time is spent in the airport, with the ultimate goal being to prevent infected planes from taking to the air on their autopilot systems. Degeneration was a major project and one of the flagship AAA titles for the relaunched N-Gage platform. Originally the N-Gage was made to be a competitor to Nintendo's Game Boy, but sales were extremely poor, and the two specialist phones were soon discontinued. Undeterred Nokia re-released the concept of the N-Gage, this time incorporated into newly released mobile phones. The N81 being the first model to receive the gaming treatment, now most premier Nokia models have the N-Gage platform built in ready to download new titles. <laughs> Resident Evil Assault The Nightmare Resident Evil Assault The Nightmare is a cell phone game developed by Livingmobile with a graphical look reminiscent of anime in a first-person action shooter. Assault the Nightmare runs as a first-person shooter, with players using the arrow keys on their phone to aim the gun in front of them at the oncoming hordes of undead. The graphical design is an anime style. Zombies look very cartoony with thick black outlines, and the civilians resemble anime characters. An emergency at a castle outside a city horrible things are happening and the player is requested to go there. Resident Evil Zombie Buster Resident Evil Zombie Buster was an early foray into the ever-growing mobile phone games industry. Using familiar characters and creatures from the Resident Evil universe. The player can choose between Leon S. Kennedy or Claire Redfield, who are faced with the task of defending a line which zombies are going to try and breach. Other BOWs do make an appearance in this quirky overhead view shoot em up. Resident Evil Uprising Resident Evil Uprising is the direct sequel to Resident Evil Genesis, the alternate take on some of the series' most memorable moments. Like Genesis, the game is divided into isometric squares, akin to the Confidential Report series, but this time the setting is the RPD with Resident Evil 2 heroine, Claire Redfield. Looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, Claire arrives in Raccoon City to find the city overrun with the undead and other monstrosities. Initially seeking refuge in the RPD, Claire and Leon must battle out of the building in order to escape the horrors that lurk in every room. Topic: 
Resident Evil Outbreak Survive Outbreak Survive is developed for mobile phones on the Japanese social networking service, GRI. It was officially announced on April 18, 2011.